Hey everyone, you're taking a look at Grady Nimian, I believe is his name. This is State of Decay. This is my character. I'm Andrew Reiner. I got uh, Jeff Cork here. Hey! Hello, hello. Going? And Ben Hansen. Hello, everybody. Ben Hansen, I would say you're probably Game Informer's biggest fan of uh, State of Decay. Oh boy, I might be the most outspoken, but I bet Jeff Cork has clocked in more hours than State of Decay. I th- can we disagree? We we all like this game. <laughs> yeah, this we do. Need to be a well, we can all just agree that Joe Druba is out of his mind for not liking it. That was actually one of my favorite debates we had on the old podcast was about mm-hmm. this game and joe was turned off by how clunky it was but jeff cork and i fell in love with what this game can be at its peak yes uh, yes and now we have the kind of remastered version i guess you'd call it for the new gen yeah this is on xbox one and uh i'm maybe three to four hours into this mm-hmm. so how is uh I just got uh, Doc Hansen. Speaking oh, of yeah. Ben Hansen. So there's Doc Hansen there with the cowboy hat. Sure. They're checking on this guy that was wounded. Your buddy Ed. Yeah. He was bitten. Oh, man. But it seems like he's going to make it. Whoa! Spawn. Spring. <laughs> Spring, spawn. Spring has sprang. Uh, and this is my third character. Uh, I lost two of them at night. You didn't Ooh. lose Marcus, did you? I, yeah, the main guy. Oh, oh wow. I love that. Basically, the main character can just be killed. But is there a good story behind those guys going down, Reiner? Well, I didn't know there was those super zombies at night. Oh, my God. Did you try and, like... The cheetah guys that run on all fours. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. Yeah, I just grabbed them and just devoured them. They're a nightmare. Yeah, I tried to clear out one of those... Are they banshee houses? Is that what they're called? Oh, the infestation Yeah. Ones? Yeah, Oof. with those screamers. That yeah, is those guys suck. Worst. Armless jerks. There's something just so terrifying about something that is that loud. Don't yeah. trust the army. It's like as terrifying as the banshees from Mass Effect 3. So are we assuming that people have already played State of Decay or should we provide No, no. Let's let's give some context. So it's an open world zombie apocalypse game, right? Mm-hmm. This is my base of operations and you get to upgrade it. Mm-hmm. And you can see here, uh, you know, I've I've added some some things. We got better beds now. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's something you can do. You can uh, spend your your what do you call them? influence influence points That's on right. different things here, uh, and you know sometimes you're going to need to to get stuff. So I need ammo and I need resources up there. It says you yep. can see them in the yellow because those your your uh, outposts you consume them every day. Correct. Yeah. So let's get let's find out where some materials are. So real quick on a high level, I know that there are a lot of zombie games out here. Right. Out here, out there, wherever they're out, and. I think at this point, it's safe to kind of roll your eyes at them. It's like, oh, God, another one of these. But I think State of Decay is really interesting because it is more about the management of your community, or at least as much about managing your community as it is like, hey, there's a big fat guy who explodes if I get too close to him. Right, right. Uh, I kind of compared it on Twitter this weekend to Animal Crossing, where you go out, (laughs) you get resources, you either use them on yourself or you put them into your building. Right, right. Uh, or your, your complex or whatever you want to call your, your little society. So this weekend I was driving around a truck and your car is smoking a little bit. Uh-huh. I can tell you from experience you can go a lot farther with that. Yeah, I had like no <laughs> wheels on the back or uh, no tires on the back. I was just riding on the rims and there were just huge flames from underneath the trunk. And but that. there's so many other cars around. At least yeah. that was my experience in the original release. Like there's never too much of a reason to stick with the flaming car, especially like once you can repair them and you like upgrade your uh, house to that, with that ability. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. I need that because I've gone through like 10 cars already. Okay. Like, you know, when there's those, those, uh, like you're talking about the screamer houses or whatever. Right. Uh, you could just lure them all outside and run them over with your car. For sure. Yeah. I mean, if you slow down enough, they can yank the car door open and really get you out of there. But have you explored much of the map already, Reiner? Uh, yeah, a little bit. So I've been down in this area. Oh, yeah. It doesn't pause. You can see the car's still moving. Right. Uh, yeah. I've been down here. I've been in here, but I haven't been like way up in this area. Okay. Whoa. Oh, God. Get out of there. <laughs> I love the amount of dinosaurs are in this game too. Like they have like the what? is it the Conoco style? Yeah, yeah. Uh, gas stations. Everything's kind of like dinosaur themed. You can even see it on your map, but like the lower left. Oh, here's a horde. Little... This is how I deal with hordes. Yes, it is absolutely the way to go. I okay, wish they were a little bit more stable. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. He's gonna get treed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this game. I don't know. I guess I would describe it as kind of like a single player version of Daisy. I guess where it's very survival yeah, focused. It's but a, there I are guess, missions. Yeah, there are missions, missions. In, the, in the story mode. Oh, so what's how going you, on here? What do you think of the missions so far, Renner? They're okay. I mean, the dialogue's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man, God. this is a slaughter. It definitely looks like it's running smoother oh, than the previous big versions. So uh, they introduce new zombies as you go along in yeah. those story missions. 
Uh, and they're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, no. This is the oh, best. Oh, no. This is the best. Oh, scrape this guy off. Hit my friend here. So it still retains oh, the, oh, the no. door. Okay. They got the door. It retains the lovable jank of State of Decay, I see. Oh, yeah. People, like, if you go into a tent and you're searching it, um, there are chances that a zombie will kind of find himself himself partially inside. Sure. It's weird, though. It's one of those games that it has a lot of technical issues, but for whatever reason, I can look right past that. Yeah, but look at all this cool stuff that's going on. My car has a tire missing. It's missing a door. Yeah, you're just alerting more, by the way. Oh, that's okay. Okay. You're feeling pretty safe in that car. I can't wait for it to I start I want to see what's in that. So there's a little white bin over there that I want to explore. Right. Get off there. Here's a nice little touch. You can hit the door and knock him off. Yeah. That big guy's gonna be there. a real problem. No, he's not. Okay. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. Are you really gonna get out of your car at this point? Yeah. So the zombies. I'm almost done with these zombies. Okay, they're very attracted to sound in this game. That's like the main thing. So yeah, obviously cars are a biggie. I'm, Reiner, I'm feeling confident. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no, my oh. friend's in trouble. Yeah. Eat bullets. Look at uh, that. Uh, Reiner. What? Oh man. Oh no! <laughs> run, run, run! I think you're gonna lose your third man here. No. All right. Can he, I not get up on car? Reiner! Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> well, he's tired. Take your oh, shot! Bullets! Take the shot! Oh, God. Hold on. It takes a while to reload this. Okay. He seemed to have lost interest in you. Oh, you little weirdo. Yeah! You're giving him a lot of warning shots. Yeah, that's, cool. that's right. Oh, let me... There we go. This. I keep hitting X to reload. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. So you can see there's no lock on him. Oh, no! No, he's eating my face! All right, Reiner, that's doing a lot of damage. You should really get the hell out of there. get in that car! Whoa! Okay, Reiner. Get in that car. Yeah, I'll get in this car. Also, we should mention this game is permadeath. If your characters go down, you can't load. Yeah, they're they're gone for good. Yeah. Which is super cool. I love it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just got that way into a lake. <laughs> oh, that's a river. That guy is a real problem. All for this little canister, which is probably just going to have like four bullets in it, Reiner. <laughs> got him! Oh, gosh. So do you guys have a rundown of what's new in the in this new version of it? Um, no. The biggest thing is it kind of incorporates a lot of the changes that were introduced in Breakdown and Lifeline into the main campaign. Oh, those are like a DLC from the last game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for instance, you have like uh, like vehicle storage is really handy. Uh, yeah. Your that, outposts. Yes. And create ammo. Is it dead? I'm gonna punch it. Right. Oh on. God. You are just blowing it. You need to get out of here. Hold on. I got also, where are your friends? Oh, he's probably dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god. There's so many zombies. This is like one of your villagers in Animal Crossing going down. It's a big deal. I could, I could search this? No way. Even if you do your oh! speed search. Ah. Is this killing you, Hanson? Get off it me! It really is. Oh! Run! I need a breather. Just yeah, this is... Uh... I feel bad for Reiner because I feel like he's like putting on the show for Test Chamber. Now he's going to have to continue playing this game and just be Oh, I'm going to be dead. Reiner! No! Reiner! No, right. I'm okay! Get in you the car. You better get in that car. And just run over the fat guy. I can't wait for you to look in your rearview trying. mirror and the fat guy's just in the back seat. Reiner! Ugh. At least grab the corpse of your friend. Get off! <laughs> Where'd he go? Where Where's is the, the fat guy? guy? Is he dead? Did I win? No, he's trapped. Where's fat guy? I think he got bored. No, I see him he's on the map. Yeah, he's still there. It's like the big red circle on Honk. the map. Oh, gosh. This game's so great. So, yeah, that's the thing. I've already played it on 360 and PC, but I'm looking forward to starting this version and just going right to the Breakdown DLC, which I think is my favorite and Jeff Cork's favorite. Yeah. Because it strips all story stuff out. Yeah, it's just open world fun then. Yeah, and you're just building up your base. Obviously, you can't do it yet, I don't think, but at a certain point, you can relocate your base, Reiner. You can find, like, new little areas to build up, mm -hmm. like, cooler-looking spots in different uh -huh. towns around the map. Um, well, you could do that in the story one, too, right? Right, yeah, you can, yeah. But I think it takes a while before they give you that option. That was the mission, is to investigate that shiny pile. Well, I should go check out Oh, was it really? There. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's a weird thing. Oh, good. I this need is, to pop some pills. I thought you were going to go on foot. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, of course. They come out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it turns out there are zombies in this <laughs> hey, world. It's a nurse. Right oh, a waitress, I think. Or a waitress. Same thing. What I'm really looking forward to is starting up a breakdown game and then raising the difficulty... Because some people have complained that the main game is too easy, especially with the ability to like load up all that cargo in the back of your truck. Mm -hmm. um, have you noticed that, Cork? Is it easier once you can have all those resources constantly flooding into your base? Oh yeah, the being able to put stuff at, like you like you just said into the back of your uh, trunk does yeah, make it easier. Not, 
Yeah, that, that seems like a bummer uh, because the thrill of this game is always being on the edge of just failing completely. Oh, that's still there, though. Well, wait, okay. the thing's gone now. Yeah, you blew it. Did I really? Yeah. I think you went too what, far away did from the, the big zombie area. eat it? He just picked it up and went home. He went back to his house where he's building up a small team of zombies <laughs> uh, and they're installing garages. All right. Well, let's go see what else we can do here. I'll just go rummage through a town and fill up my sack. Sure. All right. Go through uh, someone's house. So, Cork, in your in your game, then, did you start with the story mode? Just go right to breakdown? I started with the story mode for a little while uh -huh. and then um, went to breakdown. So okay. pretty exciting. Did, how much did you play Lifeline when that came out? I have not spent as much time with that, actually. Okay. I, I started really that like one. Four or five hours into it, maybe. Okay. It, it opens up like a new area in the world, which is more of a city, but it's just kind of like one circular interstate kind of going around the little city. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not that big or that interesting. It's kind of a bummer. It's because like, it tells the storyline of like what the military is going through, because the military is always like on the fringe, and you get some so. former military in your party within the main story, but it kind of just... Uh, that story uh, is told through the DLC, but I'm not really into this game for the story, so that yeah. DLC being focused around that wasn't that appealing for me. Okay, so you can see the resources up there, question marks. There's stuff in this house I have not explored yet, so right. I'm looking for shiny white things. And you probably can't see it in this, but in the mini-map, there's like little tiny black dots, yeah. and you walk to those areas, and that's how you Very actually secure. explore. No so sense. now it's secure, because you... So you can also speed it up, but make more noise. This you is, see that? Yeah. So I found nothing. This place is super cool. I wish when you're rummaging through a house, like especially at night, it's, it can be really scary, but I wish that the zombies didn't show up on the mini, mini map with this. Because mm -hmm. like oh, going yeah. through a house at night, not knowing if there's like a zombie huh. just sitting in one of those bedrooms is an awesome feeling. And I wonder if you can actually turn the mini map off. Comes through the window. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how you have to get out. Now go back in there real quick. Just show it? off the... Hmm. I don't know. Show off what? Now walk to the window and hold down Y. Oh yeah, you could barricade it. Yeah. yeah. And there's oh, some God. missions where you have to do this. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. I wonder where the resources are in this one. I found nothing. Yeah, that's oh weird. here. Oh, okay, perfect. It might be time that coffee go. cups could oh, be great. So here oh, here comes okay. some zombies. They heard so you. I'm gonna speed it up. Found nothing. What? So there's nothing in this house. Yeah. yeah. It's fully Holy cow! Oh, oh. I would get out of there, Reiner. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> the windows <laughs> are all barricaded. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> perfect. Uh. But there are some resources here I can grab real quick. Oh, oh God, there oh, they are. Screamer. Ooh, yeah, those things will stun you if you're too close to them. Yeah. You can tell I, I drove this car at one point. And it's like a bloody house on the map, right? That's what indicates if it's an infestation yes. where those freaky things are. Yep. But you can see this one has ammo in it that I'm facing right now. This one yeah. has food. Uh, so let's get some ammo. And you can establish an outpost there. And, and that then, just allows you to drop resources off? Uh, it'll, like... Can basically take resources every day until it's depleted. Okay. Or you can send scavengers and they'll um, grab as much as they can. Sure. Or you can do it yourself. Right, right. That's one of the big <laughs> bummers, I guess, with this uh, expanded edition is I know originally this game was supposed to be co-op and then they had to strip it out during development. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wish that they would have added it in uh, for this kind of ultimate edition on the next gen. But I understand that that'd be a difficult thing to do. But I remember you did an interview with them, like, an afterwards on the original one, didn't you, Cork? Yeah. And they were, did you talk about the future of State of Decay and multiplayer? Yeah, there's definitely, like, I think they said at the time, and they've been pretty, fairly open about it, that this is not the last we'll see of State of Decay. Yeah. But and I'd be shocked like, if they didn't incorporate multiplayer into the next one. You would almost have to, yeah. Yeah, because there's so many missions, like, you mentioned, like, calling in scavengers to come help you out and haul stuff, and it just feels like a co-op activity mm -hmm. that just isn't there. Oh, All my right, gosh. I want to get this in my pack. I wonder if okay, there are new animations, because I've seen like those yes. finishing animations so many times. It'd be nice to change things up. up. Yeah, and base. you'll notice, too, if you don't have a weapon activated, you have a knife. Oh, okay. Whereas before, you're just punchy-kicky. Interesting. Yeah, I guess overall, I'm just worried that all the additions just make this game easier. And that was kind of the thrill, is what, mm -hmm. a, what a challenge it can be. Well, don't play as well. I guess that's the culprit. Because like, I know Joe reviewed it, and he played through, and he didn't have a single guy die on him. Hmm. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm just terrible. Uh, it's hard to talk and play at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> also, I think you're just a little bit too greedy, and you really wanted what was in that white sack on the side of the road. Man, that was exciting, though, wasn't it, guys? It, it was interesting You couldn't to ask for, for better action right there. That's right. 
Oh, I already broke that one. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, every window I see, I go through. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the way to go. Even though it's oh, super loud off. at all times. Uh oh. Oh, God. Get off. <laughs> God, I remember. All right, where's my base camp? My Keep favorite going. character uh, I had, like, last time I was playing this game, and there's a town. The town in the far south, mm -hmm. there's like a sweet looking convertible there. And I really wanted this convertible. And so I was driving it through this back alley right next to a river. And it was like this very narrow alley. And then I hit a rock and my car flipped and then landed horizontally in the alley. Like basically like that Austin Power scene where you have to like oh, yeah. back up. And so I was trying to inch along to get the convertible out of there so I could keep it. And there was an entire horde of zombies running towards me. And it was like the best thing that could ever come out of the systems <laughs> of this game because like i want this convertible i can make this i can make this so i'm throwing it in reverse i'm throwing it in forward to try and get away in time and i did not make it in time and the horde just ripped me out of the car and killed my favorite character go. okay so you can see i got ammo there mm -hmm. so everybody's happy i had to get some pots we had a pot crisis oh god in the kitchen okay and i had to get some pots and everybody was happy but here's all the resources you can see i've been really stocking up here mm -hmm. uh so i'm gonna get rid of this this gun that was really awful uh, and get something better. I love the gun that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remember that. Uh, look at this. This has a really great uh, like Molotov cocktail too. Ooh it's yeah, super fun. I love the yeah. idea of influence as a currency. Mm -hmm. Like the more stuff you bring in for your team, uh, it raises your influence amongst them. Amongst them. Yeah, it's an interesting idea. Can you sleep in this game? You do it automatically when you switch to a different character. Oh okay. No rest. How do I switch to a different character? Uh, hit up. What? And then go to the character thing, and then you can. Oh, seriously! Switch to them there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some of them you can talk to them, and they'll <laughs> look at this guy. We should get rid of him. I don't think you can. I think that's Mark McDonald, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. So go for the hurt guy. Just finish him off. Pastor William. He has his own parking spot here and his own frying pan. Did they add uh, new lines like of dialogue or anything, Cork? Not that I've heard. Does Lily, every time you come home, still say, we'll crack open a cold one yes, for you? Yes, she does. <laughs> so much beer is being consumed. <laughs> Not every time, but yes, she does. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That got annoying. Oh, wait. Did the guy come back, by the way? Let's just end the test chamber with maybe a happy note. Oh, he's out there hurt somewhere. Well, yeah. Which guy? I think him. he's dead, isn't he? Oh, does that mean he's dead? It just says hurt. I think he's alive. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he's so just out there somewhere? Let's check the map. Uh... You probably ran them over as you're getting away. Yeah, they they don't like it when you hit them with cars. By the way, <laughs> no, you lose influence <laughs> yep. very fast that way. I I don't know. He's probably wandering like out here trying to get home. Shouldn't it show you like if there's a scavenger on the map or someone like outside the proximity when they're on their way home? But that was a guy who was uh, on your team, right? Yeah. I don't know that they show. I know scavengers do yeah. show up on the map, but I think if you just abandon someone. Oh I don't my know God. what they do. Reiner, he's lost he's in the big world. Yeah, uh, well, we'll maybe uh, maybe get him back. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but I'm fully vested in this. I, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I played it a little on 360 for whatever reason. I couldn't get into it. but And again, for whatever reason, I'm getting into it now. Nice. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. Super fun. Uh, and we're going to be doing a live stream tomorrow, I guess. On Tuesday, yeah. On, yeah, Tuesday. So uh, definitely tune into that. Mm -hmm. as I think Jeff Cork's going to play that yeah. with Hanson. Sure. It's going to be fun. Uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. This is Game Informer's Test Chamber. New episodes all the time. See you next time.